The reason why I dislike Lele Pons is because her videos are that kind of immature adult humor I do not like. The kind with unnecessary levels of swearing, uh, gender stereotyping, and uh, just she's a whole. She portrays herself and her female and male friends as horrible individuals. Um, and, and I, I, um, I don't care if she's uh, supposed to be a Latina stereotype. She herself is Latina, so shouldn't that make it fine? I don't understand. Um, and I would not say that the scripts are written by a four-year-old, because what four-year-old has heard of swearing? And they're swearing in her videos, okay? Uh, and, and also, there's, like, lots of dating and relationship stuff, and I don't think a four-year-old knows about that. I believe four-year-olds primarily watch Sesame Street, Barney, etc. They mainly watch, like, PBS and Nick Jr. programming. They, the, um, sure, you could say there are relationships in that show. Um, there are married couples. There are parents. But that's pretty much it. Those are the only types of relationships, and they're not often seen like, showing their feelings for each other, um, not exactly, not, definitely not in the way that it is in the Lele Pons videos, none of the, uh, none of the people in that show wear, uh, crop tops and tights for pants, like, really sheer looking tights, uh, that, sh that make their butts look big, you know, I'm, I'm just saying the difference, um, I don't trust Cody Ko as a reliable source because he's just a YouTuber. But not a reliable one in my opinion. Um, also, there's this article on 321Go. Um, uh, no, it is not actually a group of women. There are at least three male actors who have um, appeared in the videos, the most common of which is named Kevin, I believe. Um... They might not appear as often, but recently they started a spin-off channel called One Through Three Go Boys. So there's that. Also, um I don't find the word choices strange that actually makes sense to me. Either I'm not paying attention or this is a lie. Um also I don't know I I'm not I'm I'm not good at detecting what cringe is, so um let's forget that. Um, I would say, yeah, they are overreacting. Absolutely. They dress like children and everything. It's, uh, like adult content targeted toward kids. But that honestly sounds like something I would do with my own cartoon. But in a good way, you know. Like, adult cartoons like, so mature. Unnecessary levels of adult stuff. It's crazy. So my show might actually do good for the world. Who knows? Maybe my show will even be fine enough to show, like... My whole family. I bet my family even love it. And, uh, no matter what I did or showed in public, that would not make me look stupid. Because I would have to be around very mean people for people to think I look stupid in public. Really. Everybody's so nice where I live. I, um, I hope this is a lie because this is not, this is not reality. These people are probably just nobodies who binge watch Urban Monster High because, you know, they're like little kids who think it's canon when it's not. I know, it would take you some time to realize it's just a joke made by somebody and they're just doing it for fun, you know? People love to have fun. You know, YouTubers just want to have fun. Oh, YouTubers want to have. That's all they really want. It's such fun to change the sexuality, the sexual characters. This is definitely not canon because YouTubers just want to have fun. Oh, YouTubers just want to mess with me. He was making these horrible lies about characters, probably. Also, uh, one of the silhouettes is Honey Swamp. Okay, I'm not really concerned about Honey Swamp, um, I'm not sure, but if they say anything about Claudine, that's just ridiculous. Uh, uh sure, she was single in the original series, but in the reboot, she's got, like, this weird crush on a guy named Ray, or vice versa? 
Yeah, just because she's a tomboy does not mean they have to announce that she likes women. That's just mean. Please, no. Urban Monster High already made the joke that she does. So, making this canon is just ridiculous. I don't want to know any secrets. The series is over. The reboot was not good. They got rid of all of Claudine's sisters and said she was the only sister, thus being cliched and all that. Also, now the school is a boarding school and not just a regular school where you go home and, and you're at your own house where you can eat your own food and all that. Why does that have to be boarding school? If I w it, it, The idea of me, myself, going to boarding school is terrifying. Okay, he's the creator. I hope he's not like J.K. Rowling in which he came up with the ideas after the franchise was made. Because if that's the case, I will not believe him. Everything Monster High stood for. Instead of softening the line, it should have become a brand that celebrated even more. Differences, different- well, Then why didn't you do it in the first place? Why didn't, as soon as you create the franchise, you could have had characters in wheelchairs. You could have had characters who were single. Uh, actually, there are already some single characters, but I'm just saying it's important. Not everything's about relationships. A and you know, they could have had characters who were blind. They could have had characters who were deaf and wearing hearing aids and all of that. But instead, they didn't. Instead, the franchise was just your average girl franchise about skinny, non-disabled girls who just happened to be monsters. And uh, that was basically it. And body types, different abilities, words to say about people who are mad at this. Frankie's allowed to like whoever she wants, whenever she Why wants. Why would people be mad about her liking men? That's so stupid! She is still pretty new to the world. She doesn't need to be locking down anything down right away. In layman's terms, Frankie is baby and also a player. What about it? For all you ever- Calling her a player? Is that- is that- um, is Frankie like 15 years old? That sounds disgusting. No, calling her a player, that's just- No, she's not. She's just a curious teenager who's pursuing relationships and all that. Trying to discover herself. You should not be saying this stuff about teenagers. That's- No. Raffi mainly worked on Monster High. But there was a scene in Dragon Games that leads me to believe that someone on the team was dropping hints. If Darling likes women, that's stereotypical. That's horrible. She's already a strong- female character, um, treating it as if there weren't any strong characters to begin with. There's Raven, there's Briar, who is technically a rebel, which is cool, and you got Lizzie. I'm pretty sure Lizzie did some pretty heroic things in the spring special, but why does it have to be Darling? That's very- that- no! She was kissing Apple to save her life! That leads me to my next slide. Was there any talk of making an LGBT character or couple pair to which Garrett- re No! The reason why Claudine is wearing a tuxedo, she likes to wear tuxedos. That's it. It's just clothing. Replied, of course there was. There were a couple characters we wanted to be LGBT. While we didn't get to say it outright, we tried to hint at it where we could. It was frustrating. But it didn't end there. The questions kept coming in and Garrett continued answering. I hope this isn't too much of a controversial question, but I've noticed that Claudine- No! Be it's just her clothing. It's just her personality. She seems to like men. Don't deny it. She's wearing a skirt. There is evidence of her femininity. Don't say some- don't say some stupid crap about her like- No, she does not. Queer-coded as a member of the LGBT- um, I feel kind of the same way about Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony. And, and Rainbow Dash is one of my favorite My Little Pony characters. I have a plushie of her right now. Um, she has a crush on a male character named Soren in the show Friendship is Magic. Also, in the third generation, she was an Earth Pony who was more like Rarity. And probably liked guys in that show as well because Rarity does. LGBT community through the series. Were there any plans of an LGBT plus character? To which Garrett responded, we tried, but always got the quote unquote, it's not the right time answer. We tried to give hints in the diaries as best we could at the time. Who else is rereading all the Monster High diaries we kept in plastic bags now? <laughs> After being questioned several times, Garrett finally revealed which Monster High characters were part of the LGBT. 
there are that there are um just because a character's not boy crazy does not mean they lo not like boys. That's stupid. No. Why can't Claudine like both? Why can't she like nobody? Why does she have to be like this? LGBT community. At Garrett Sander, alongside Claudine, were there any LGBT plus characters? If so, who? Nathan was planned to be, but wasn't quote unquote. She's dating, he's dating Frankie. Also, the actual Nathan, who is part of that community, is Nathan Baloney, who is dating my character, Simon Cooley. And, well, I have not decided if he likes women or not, but what we can say is that he will never, he would never cheat on Simon. Not ever. Because, you know, that's just mean. That's sick. Cheating is bad the right time we also plan for valentine to come out in his diary for the sdcc exclusive valentine had fe has feelings for jackie laura does does he like both that's the only way it makes sense also um his relationship with uh wisp the idea was that he was ashamed of being gay so he no he oh he tried going after a fake version of love by not being himself and by finally accepting who he was he but that doesn't excuse what he did in the Sweet 16 um, movie. That doesn't excuse anything at all. He's still evil and you will not use this as an excuse um, for everyone to forgive him. He still broke women's hearts. He was able to thrive and not only find true love for himself, but being able to love himself for who he was. It was a really touching story, but the powers that be felt it was putting an LGBT person in a negative light, even though I wrote it and was the only LGBT person on the team at the time. I know what everyone's thinking, and I'm as frustrated as everyone else. Garrett being told he'd be doing a disservice to the LGBT community despite being the only LGBT person on the team doesn't make a lot of sense. Monster High was known for making daring choices, discussing prejudice and racism. When I take that boy up the hill tonight, things can get back to the good. That's not edgy at all in my opinion. Zootopia was edgy. The Hunchback of Notre Dame was the edgiest thing on earth. The Hunchback went even further. Good old days. It's time we got back to the true meaning of this holiday. Putting mon- No way. Bellwether was m a much more extreme villain. Claude Frollo was a more extreme villain. He burned down people's houses. He tried to burn Esmeralda. <laughs> Valentine and Nathan were intended to be. Claudine wasn't initially created to be lesbian, but Garrett- She wasn't initially created. That's it. Garrett Sanders, you're the male J.K. Rowling. Get out of here. Lily supports the idea. Kiyomi has subtle hints in her diary. No, keep Kiyomi out of this. She's a cute character from the movie Haunted. I like her. Keep her out of this. According to Garrett, he, quote, could totally see Kala liking all the fish in and out of the sea. He supports- Okay, that's good. A pan character. That's th good. Don't keep them mono, because Simon and Nathan are the true couple. Spurk is the true couple. Um, Shrek and Fiona are the true couple. Um, Donkey and Dragon are the true couple. <laughs> Literally, any man with, uh- with the ugly stepsisters from Shrek is the true couple. It's the idea of Gilda being trans, although she also wasn't initially designed. A man or a woman? Designed to be. Let me know below. Are there any characters you think may be LGBTQ plus or mm. any major? This is just a wholesome kids franchise, okay? But I kind of wish I purchased a Nathan doll. But now I don't have any Monster High dolls. I donated them. Why do girls wear shorts over top of tights? That's just weird and a waste of clothing. Like, why can't you just wear the tights? Why can't you just wear pants if it's cold outside? Why do you have to layer tights and uh, shorts? Do you want to look attractive? Uh, maybe just wear the shorts on their own. Maybe, like, wear a skirt or something. Do your hair and makeup. You don't need to put on this ridiculous fashion show. 
it's just weird. Why? Why you have to waste your tights that you could use for, like, bigger skating? Instead of just these weird casual attire. If people actually wear this to school, like, nobody dresses like this to school. Nobody wears dresses. They're like, dresses are reserved for formal occasions these days. Dresses, um, I don't know if people actually wear dresses as, uh, yeah, there are casual dresses, but, um, these dresses clearly look, dress on the far left clearly looks very formal. Why do these new characters that are introduced in the Monster High films start attending that school by the end of the movie? How are they able to transfer so quickly? This doesn't make any sense. They'd need to wait until before the next school year and would have to request their parents to transfer then. Are they orphans or something? Uh, do their parents just not live with them because they're, they're out clubbing all the time? What's going on? Because they say they got parents.